Ghana. How many flags? This should have been the first. I think the president is impressed so far. He's working with Auntie Samia. Okay, so um, let me position myself well and let's do a proper tour of this place. Um, the Kwame Nkrumah Museum, is, it was um, refurbished and today is the opening. The President of the Republic is here, he's, 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 he's there with his entourage. So basically this place has been really put together for um, tourist attraction. Um, what it means is that if people show up in the country, even locals can actually come here and then come and walk around here, come for photo shoots, all those kind of stuff, you know. So I really like what I'm seeing here. I don't know about you. And I also do understand that it was, um, it was closed for this exercise for about three to four years and of course already people are here taking photos and all that videos and all that the president is here so it's it's okay to see all these security men around here yeah so and this is the iconic photo of our legendary dr kwame nkrumah standing there majestically like that amazing so, yeah, they've also made a staircase here where you can, so it's two, disabled friendly spot and then uh, an actual staircase for um, regular people with regular legs, yes. I don't know what is inside here, I don't know, maybe, uh, oh, okay, amazing. Guys, look. A lot of photo shoots happening around here. You have diasporans here also taking photos. I also do. How far? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. We are all here for today. Awesome. So um, I also do understand that today Americans are having their independence. Independence Day because it is 4th of July. So one thing I don't know, this is the grave of the Ghanaian political legend, for the African political legend, Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. But I cannot tell if his remains are in there or um, let me. So um, guys, let's walk around here and see how this whole place looks like. I wanted to talk to the lady. I thought she's an American, but she's not. She's a Russian. There's a water fountain here, very vibrant one. It works. Um, so many people are here. And then there's a part where the voice of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is being played. So it means we cannot go in there now. It is reserved for after for the after the event so the president will have to go in there before anyone else so i think it's fine and also i don't know what this one means but this is the head of dr nkrumah here and this is the body the body is here and then the head is here what does what's the significance of this i don't know and a part of this statue too is is broken it's broken. I don't know. If you know the story behind it, please let me know. But here is where the event is happening. Here is where the president and the rest of the dignitaries are. Uh, you can already see some asset videos. But you can also walk all the way around here. That's where the president um convoy is the state the state protocols and the rest of the vehicle awesome i don't want to get closer so that the security will go like 
hey, what are you doing and all that. Could be very embarrassing sometimes. But this is one of my favorite spots over here, guys. This place is very beautiful and it tells a story of Kwame Nkrumah's um, desire to be to get independence for the country, I think. If you look at this first photo, look at this one. How far? <laughs> this one is he's more, he's more angry, like he's more angry. It must happen. You know, they said that the UGCC people were like, um, self -govern governance in the shortest possible time. And then he was like, no, it has to happen now. So this, this was what he conceived the whole idea. And then over here, He's still not happy, it must happen. And um, he has still kept his composure over here. It must happen. And over there, it looks like he has pitched the idea to the people that, yeah, it's going to happen. And the people are also thinking about it. And then he's also, he's on standby. And then over here, it looks like he has received some sort of positive feedback. And then he's already beginning to smile. And then over here, it is a success. <laughs> <laughs> it is as they have already phoned him and, and they've told him that actually the independence is going to happen and he cannot keep his school. And then when you come around here, it has happened. And then six March has come, then he has declared the independence that actually Ghana is now an independent country and then we are free forever. So basically, this is the story I believe this thing here is telling so when you show up around here this is this is one spot you have to be to come and take photos there is a huge um, green park around here where people can walk around when you show up you're like for kids you know kids like green grass and all that yeah but with respect to i mean after this it is going to be i don't know how it is going to be run as a full business side where everybody who works in here um, are going to be taking some amount um, they was request of a certain amount from them before they come in here or it will be free to the public i mean the locals but what i suggest is that this thing is going to need a lot and a lot of promotion so there are some key people when they show up over here like really influential people when they get over here, they should allow them to come in here for free and take photos and then just publish them. It's, it's, it's going to go a long way to um, sell this place. Very, very important. So basically, that is, these are all the vehicles the president came with. Came with uh, an ambulance, a fire truck, and then um, the police cars and all the rest of the cars. So yeah, and I also like, of course, this is Ghana, so it was really necessary that they, they, um, they added to the theme these African uh, symbols. I don't really know what they mean, but I can see the Sesegua, I can see the uh, Konfna and a whole lot around here. Yeah, so. Um, there are, there should be offices in here. I believe there are offices in this one. I don't know if I can go in there, but... Um, guys, look at this place. Very beautiful. But I'm even here with a more beautiful look. <laughs> so, you'll be here. You, were you here earlier? Yes. Awesome. And then you've seen everything that happened around here. Everything. Of course, here is um, the just refurbished Kwame Kwame Museum, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes, and then I walked around here and for her, she, what was her name? Jessica Kukwa Juanity. Awesome. And you work with? Ghana Tourism Authority. So she knows a lot that I don't. Now, what do you think about this place in general? It's beautiful. I can mean, we turn like this so that they will see what is behind us? Yes, yeah, we can, we can, we can, we can. Look at that. Look at that fountain. It's just beautiful. I mean, comparing then to now, there has been so much work that has been put into this and I'm super proud being a Ghanaian at this moment. It's just exquisite. Everything here is love, top notch. Awesome. But you see, is here a place you recommend for people to come? 
best place that every tourist or every Ghanaian should visit because this is where Ghana was reborn. This is where we attained our freedom and justice. So why not? There are so many beautiful things to look up to when you come here. This place has a restaurant. This place has a beautiful gift, gift shop. It also has a presidential library. I mean, Man. not only presidents have to come here to read, but as young people coming up who aspire to be presidents, ministers, or civil servants, you can definitely come here, pick up books to read, and enhance your knowledge. So Amazing. definitely a very good place to visit. Amazing. But you see, the interesting thing is, there are some Ghanaians here. Eh? No matter what, let's what, work, let's work, let's work. Let's work. okay. No matter what beauty you show them, anything, no matter how nice it is, they go like, eh, now we're there, dear. Now, what do you have to tell people they like that? They're missing out on a lot of things. I mean, Ghana has a lot of rich culture and history, and I think this should be the very first place that people should visit and learn about these things. So, yeah, why not? Awesome. So, um, aside this place, mm -hmm. of course, we're going to take a tour and see what is okay. here, but aside this place, are there other tourist sites you love for people Ghana to visit? Ghana has a lot of tourist sites. I work with Ghana Tourism, so I can speak of a thousand and one tourist sites. But this definitely should be the first place to visit. There's also the Kapum National Park. There's also the Botanical Gardens in Ibri. There's in Zulezu in Western Region. In Western Region, we have a lot of... Have you been to Zulezu before? I have. Just last weekend, I was there with some foreigners and my friends as well. So Amazing. It was a, a lovely experience. It was great. Amazing. So now, let's let's take a, let's, let's go around and see what is because So okay. you can see some people. Um, yeah. So this is the beautiful Kwame Nkrumah Museum, refurbished. And... So Very over wrong. there, it looks like... Um, That's a gallery. A gallery. Yes. The photos there are not from now. I mean, they are ancient photos. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Guys, come and look. So, of course, you and I don't, don't know anybody around here. <laughs> Guys, look. But this one is um, Chief Obafemi Awulowo. Councillor of Amadou Bello University in Nigeria. Amazing. So when people come here, here is where they need to visit to see the various um, photos that um, we have over here. And this is KUS, always boosting up Sorry. the swimming pool. How is that possible? <laughs> Guys, let's go up there. So, so much is happening around here. There are a whole lot of people are here. There are a lot of people around. You? I mean, great dignitaries. The locals. Do you everyone. know that's coming from my son? The oh, man over really? there, yes. Oh, wow. I've seen his daughter Samia and then um, his younger daughter as well. Wow. She <laughs> great. Wow. How far? <laughs> so, guys, we're going upstairs to go and see yeah. what is happening there. Um, So it looks like this place is going to be a reception. Yeah, I'm sure. For I'm sure people who will come up here. And they're using here for conference rooms. Sorry. Over here. So all here are conference rooms. Yeah. Oh, come and see. Oh yeah. Cool. It has cool. conference rooms. Yeah. We are still doing the video. Work, work with us. She is tired. And then we have all the, the African and then flags over here. Awesome. Where's Ghana? How many flags? Ghana 52. should have been the first. Ghana should have been the first. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Super proud. Amazing. Ghanian right now. Yo. I think I am so much I really appreciate this because I am I am a creative person. These are these are some of the things when we see we it it gingers us to I mean like I don't even know the phrase to use, but you get what I mean. 
there is ticketing over there so definitely one has to pay before you get in here but you know it's the opening so it's it's free i mean you can just get in here and then i'm taking a selfie look at this the car dr kwame Nkrumah drove so beautiful you cannot touch but i can actually show you what is inside i do understand it was given to him by the queen of england how true is that and then this is the reception when you get in here uh, ghana london and new york amazing so and this is the ticketing you buy tickets here before you start to access here guys what do you think of this place do you love here already just as i do or you still have some opinion let me take you out now um they've turned on the water fountain and it's so beautiful the sound is also loud. The sound is also loud. The president is coming around here, so I mean, you can see the the tension. The tension is everywhere. Yo. At this point, you just have to be very reasonable and be very calculative with your steps because if you mess up, they can just grab your camera and then smash it, just break it. Yeah, in as much as this thing needs to be publicized, um, they also need to protect the president. <laughs> awesome. A whole lot of people are here. What, what, what be their name? What be their name? Goshes. Goshes. Yes, Goshes. So I think in this place, um, people need to shift a bit. It's very interesting. When you turn up at a place where the president is, it is, it is always somehow disturbing. I mean, the president is coming to use this place, so they want everybody to shift. But guys, so far, so good. Basically, this is, this is how the place looks like. The, uh, a re refurbished Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Now it is more majestic, more vibrant. It is an icy eyesore. Okay. See the president coming, right? See the convoy, the entourage. It is being accompanied by some traditional rulers, state, um, other country officials, ambassadors. Yeah, that's the tourism minister coming. I just want to raise the camera so that you can see. So let me just hang around here and then see if I can show you something. But basically, I can see Auntie Samia majestically walking. And the president, she, he's also coming. And uh, I'll go on tourism, an art, creative art minister. I think the president is impressed so far. He's working with Aunt Samia. Awesome. And a whole lot of security um, accompanying them. So basically, guys, I think this is this is it. I I I wanted to see how the water fountain is, how it, it works, but they've turned it on. So basically. 
Ja, ich sehe ab hier. Is it a place that you will be glad to visit anytime you are in Accra? I don't know where you're watching this from across this country, but whenever you show up in Accra, you may want to show up here and then have a look at this. It's worth it.